breaking fucking news out of uh, Perry, Iowa, which is about 30 miles north west of Des Moines. There's been another school shooting the fourth day in 2024, and we've already had some liberal, gender-confused, mentally ill fuck shoot up a fucking school. So from the details I'm getting, the suspect is dead. A school administrator was, well, there's several people that were shot. A school administrator was among one of the persons that was shot. No word on other deaths or injuries, just a few people shot. Unknown amount of injuries, unknown extent of injuries. But finding out more details, I don't know the age of the shooter. I forgot his name, I think his name was Dylan something. Or Darwin or something, something that started with the D, I can't remember. But I'm finding out it was a gender-confused liberal. That's what's trending on Twitter. So you see what's going to happen now. Iowa is a constitutional carry state. As well as, well as like 20, 27 or 28 other states. Actually, there's more constitutional carry states than states with red flag laws. There's 20 states with, with red flag laws. Minnesota, I think, well, I think there's 21 now. If Minnesota just enacted a red flag law, so that might be 21, 21 now. But anyway, the Michigan's doesn't take place until February 13th. There's actually a petition going around to nullify the law. Um, I'm going to be heading back to Michigan to help with the uh, petition. So I'm in Arkansas right now. I might be heading up to Iowa myself for the Republican debate at Drake University. Keep in mind for keep keep stay tuned for that. January 10th, you get the uh, Republican debate in Des Moines. And I'm headed that way. But anyway, I'm down here just north of Little Rock right now, chilling. Just had my breakfast, not at the Waffle House, but at Denny's. Just had my prefix at Denny's. Had to get my prefix. Um. So yeah, four days into 2024, and we already got a mass shooting at a high school with some gender-confused liberal. Can't say I'm shocked because I'm not. Uh, the mainstream media probably won't report that. But the Iowa State Capitol is in Des Moines. I, I've been there. I've been to the Iowa State Capitol. I was there in 2020 with Black Lives Matter. So, are we going to see, like, are we going to see another March for Our Life storm in the Capitol like they did in Michigan? Like they did in Tennessee? It's possible. I mean, I'm surprised the shootings haven't rose in California now that they pass laws saying the parents can't whip the kid's ass in their house and the kids can be whatever gender behind the parents' back and the school officials are going to hide it from the parents and if the parents don't go along with it they can have the kids taken away. What the fuck kind of shit is that? But that's what you got out of Cucafonia. So yeah. I'm not surprised. Four days into 2024, you know, this this was actually the first day back to high school, first day back to school from winter break for the kids. But my question is, why the fuck would they go back to school on a Thursday? That's the real crime. Thursday? Why didn't they just make it Monday? The the, the 8th. Oh, they got to get two... They got to get so many days in a year for them not to hold the school year back or, or over or whatever. I don't know. I, I haven't been in school in fucking over 20 years. I graduated in 2002. So I graduated 22 years ago and I, I left the, and I, I never turned back. So I don't know what the hell they're doing anymore. If I was a high school student today, 
with all the mentally ill shit going on in there and in the public indoctrination and the fake history and the indoctrination of DEI, you know, and all that liberal nonsense. No wonder kids are going crazy. How can you be gender confused? Pull down your fucking pants, look at your fucking crotch, and say what, and tell me what's there. What's the, where's the confusion at about that? The only good thing to come out of this school shooting is this with this is is this liberal fuck off himself. That's the only thing that ha that's the only good thing to come out of this. He did he did society a favor. But it's sad that in doing society a favor, he shot some innocent people. So I'll send my condolences and thoughts and prayers and I'll I'll, I'll be praying for Perry High School. I know people don't want to hear thoughts and prayers. People don't want to hear that. People don't that's that's still 2018. I can't say that anymore. That's still 2018. Can't say that anymore. Enough with the thoughts and prayers. It, 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 it's worn out. I will pray for the victims' recoveries. And I will pray that high schools across the country get a security system into place. Steel plated doors, bulletproof glass, you need an ID badge to scan to get in, and armed guards. My county back in Michigan has it, and there's no school shootings. Well, we don't want to live in a prison. It's not a prison. It's not a prison. A prison you can't get out. A school, the doors are unlocked from the inside. They're locked from the outside. Trust me. I know. Okay? Trust me, I know this. I'm 41 years old. When you get my age, you know things. I'm not going to say how, but trust me, I know how things work. So who do I blame on this one? The high school? For not having that security system in place? Or would I blame the parents for sending their kids to public schools? And trusting the government? Government run, indoctrinated schools? Or would I blame society? Because he's going along with the trend of being gender confused. And it causes mental problems. Or do we blame the parents? Because he got an unsecured gun. Or do we blame the right wing militias across the country? No, let's blame the NRA. That's a good one. Let's blame the NRA again. Let's blame the Republican Party. Let's blame Donald Trump. Because he's running. Is it a coincidence that this happens a day after the Epstein fucking client list gets released? One day after. One day. I'm not shocked. Anyway, this is Raging Rob. More videos coming soon.